3-3-3. We'll update the results later in the half. First and 10, Georgia Tech from their 35. And they line up this season. Two touchdown passes. And a big threat to run as he does on first down and pushes straight ahead. And Austin Barrett. Third down coming in three. Here is Nesbitt, and he's caught in the backfield. This is out for the rest of the game with an injured ankle. First and ten. Josh Nesbitt at the controls. And off inside goes to Dwyer, and he threads his way up to the... Roddy Jones hits the corner, Sturdivant with him, and he may be close to the first down. He's up first and ten at their own 31. And off now goes to... Second down, three. And again, it's Dwyer, and he... Lucas right, Lucas in motion, and it's going to be Nesbitt, the quarterback, with the carry. For well, the deciding touchdown, first and ten, Georgia Tech... Here is Nesbitt, caught in his own backfield, fumbles the football, and didn't know it. Young man who's faced a lot more than football in his life. Had a brain tumor operation. A senior year in high school. Hand off into the hole, it's Dwyer. And Dwyer for Thursday, recovering in Birmingham, Alabama. Returns to Atlanta soon. Dwyer straight ahead, and there's nothing there. Here, fourth down and three, and they're going for it. Nesbitt with a long count. If they can get the Tar Heels to jump, they'll get five. And off Dwyer, nothing doing. Tar Heels take over on down. If you can afford to take a gamble. Same thing with Georgia Tech. And off straight ahead. Dwyer stood up. After a touchdown on the first drive on North Carolina, the defenses have dug in. This is Nesbitt. Calls his own run around the right end. And... First and ten at the Tar Heel 47. First man through is Dwyer, and he shoots Oglet wide to the top side. Will Nesbitt look their way or run for the 16th straight time? Here comes number 16. This Dwyer is down to the third, and they need the 37. Nesbitt goes into the hole. Look like somebody. Georgia Tech trying to keep their drive alive. Hand off to Wire, and he barely got it off. Yeah. I got more to talk about with Robert, but right now let's get this play. All right, first and ten. First pass of the day. Josh Nesbitt with time. His pass is complete to Thomas. <laughs> Nesbitt calls his own number, turns the corner. Cam Thomas slows it. I love it. Second down, coming up. And going straight. At their own 36. Nesbitt, on his own, picks up the first down up to the 39-yard line. A game like this. But they can throw it. Oh, Josh Nesbitt proved it, didn't he? He's back to throw again for the second time today. But he's going to run out of the pocket. And gets the first down and more. He's in Tar Heel territory. He's got 40 so far this afternoon. Back to throw, Nesbitt to the flats, it overflows, Lucas Cox, Paul Johnson doesn't like to throw. Cox is the setback. On the option, Nesbitt, and runs right back. Georgia Tech on third is two for five. Back to throw, Nesbitt, pass complete, and it's going to be Zach Fisher within their passing game, and Demarius Thomas is 29 of them. Wire. Oh, my goodness. Gary speaks Nesbitt. First and 10 of the North Carolina 25. Nesbitt shot down in the backfield. For the Tar Heels. Haven't seen any turnovers yet. Here comes Nesbitt to throw. Straight drop back. And he's pursued by Pascal. Gets rid of it the last second. But Georgia Tech three of six on third. Nesbitt the pitch to Dwyer. Heads to the left corner, and he's brought down a great open field tackle by Newsom now here. Very good. He's been lobbying hard. And this is going to be the scholarship offer stands. But he's come back, and he's played well in this game today. Second down and eight. On the option play, here comes Nesbitt. Shakes off one tackle. And you're three and seven on third down. 
Nesbitt pushes ahead, and he just may have it. Back to throw. Now taking it ahead is Nesbitt. And Nesbitt shakes off tacklers. And Grant here, an opportunity to get a score before halftime. Sprinting out. This is Josh Nesbitt. Throws down the sidelines. Third down. Here comes Roddy Jones, and he breaks into the secondary and heads down the sideline. Strong run. Seconds left to go. Nesbitt. Rush gets rid of it, and it's off to the sideline. Ball two yards shy of midfield. Straight drop back for Nesbitt. Pass rush on, pass complete. Georgia Tech wants to play fast. Yeah, they win the toss for the Chiefs. Second down. Nesbitt with time. Now rolls out. Ooh, they got away with And the pass is complete. It's Thomas. Nesbitt. Looking, looking, throw is incomplete. Have his explosiveness. He doesn't have his left tackle that's accustomed to seeing out there. And this is Nesbitt calling his own number. He can get it back. He was in Miami, boy. Second down and ten. Pass to the flats. It's complete. It's going to be to Thomas, and he stays on his feet. More recruits in there to throw the ball to. We will. Yeah. Pitch to the a back is going to be Roddy Jones. And they're better than that. Second down and seven. Nesbitt carries and runs right. They're going to be really good. Third down and six. Georgia Tech, five and ten on third. The pass to the flats. He's been in this spot before, pitches quickly to Dwyer, who is tripped up. But Jabo Shaw under the controls. He'll handle this play himself and squirts ahead for after the season in Knoxville. First and ten. And a fumble on the snap that Jabo Shaw gets down on. The biggest loss is Andrew Gardner. Down for the season with an operation on his left label. You saw that last play. Jonathan Dwyer is back on the field. Second down. Shaw calls his own number. Runs by Quan Sturdivant. He's got him out over the 43-yard line. They've had some long marches today, and their ground game is second down and three. Shaw pitches at the last second. Roddy Jones on his way and tripped up. Jatek trailing here 7-0. Dwyer gets the call. A flag thrown into the fray here. <laughs> Jeff. Earls and Thomas are the setbacks. The pitch comes to Dwyer. Dwyer trying to turn the corner. Couldn't square his shoulders. Holding number 15 offense. Still first down. Right on the money, midfield. The throw, J. Bo Shaw caught in a very unnatural position. Back to the Georgia Tech 45. Shaw on the late pitch to Roddy Jones. Numbers. Hits the corner. And a nice shoestring tech. Trailing 7-0. Jabo Shaw takes his own number, and he is close to getting to the original line of ball scrimmage. Down. And 13 minutes away from possibly being 7-2. Jabo Shaw still in, and he's taken down for a sack. That's impressive. Second down, 15. Jabo Shaw to carry. Lost the yardage and the football. Picked up. Start us off with high noon in the ACC. First and ten. Pitch comes on the end around to Thomas. Wide open field. Thomas, first down and more, and brought down with a flag thrown into the fray at the 42-yard line. Had have gone to the range. Holding, holding 15 on the offense. 15 yards from the spot of the foul. Correction, 10 yards from the spot of the foul. Still first down. 15 yards, then they knocked it back. Josh Nesbitt back at the controls. Stands in, fires, has a man up there. 
Incomplete. Either you're going to be a beast in November and try to get to Tampa, or you're all hot air. Nesbitt pitch to Lucas Cox. Turns the corner, gets the first down, and pushes the ball out 55. Need to get one in a hurry. Yeah. Calvin Booker over there can also throw it for the Yellow Jackets. That's true. And this one went off the arm of him. Nesbitt hands off. Dwyer. Now they've done it on the ground, surprisingly enough. To throw. Nesbitt too high for Demarius Thomas. Yeah. Three scores, and they can't afford to punt anymore. Nesbitt back to throw off play action. Great pressure on, and a flag thrown in. A definite blatant hold. Just decided that number 70 on the offense. That penalty will be declined. Second down. So second. You saw T.J. Yates warming up on the sidelines for North Carolina. Second down and 10. Handoff goes first back. That's Dwyer, and Dwyer's on his horse. Has Goddard beat, headed down the sideline. This is what Georgia Tech needs. Can he score? Touchdown! He got look out. He got the ball. Got it. Yep. Good call, Steve. He hit the pylon with it. Carter Chief quarterbacks that uh, have a pretty good spine to both of them. First and ten. Rolling out. Here comes Nesbitt. The pass incomplete. And three ACC teams getting underway. Four ACC games getting underway here. Nesbitt, blind pass, somebody catch it. That somebody is a tar here. Tremaine Goddard for the sixth interception of the season. And the 11th of his career stays in bounds. Hand off straight ahead, not much happening there. Day for the Tar Heels. Second down now and about eight. Pass to the flats to Corey Earls complete. He'll get a first down and knock. Okay, accomplish a lot of really good things for the Yellow Jackets. And an off week and then a Thursday outing with the Hurricane. Our trail this season. Nesbitt rolls left. Pass is complete. It's out there to Roddy Jones. Has a lot on neutral fields and away from home. Away, yeah, away from home. The first seven games. Flag on the play. Nesbitt guns. Pass complete to Corey Earls. But let's see what the flag is going to be. Could be a hold. Yeah, they right to Tampa. Holding, 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 Here comes a handoff, goes to Lucas Cox. How about 27? This hasn't been a day where North Carolina's defense has slept much. Carolina. Nesbitt to throw, pass complete. Getting out of bounds is Butch Davis wouldn't let the scout team have the ball yeah. until three days ago. There's a pass by Nesbitt. He's hit as he threw. 